All right, welcome back, everybody. Yes, we are here with box number four of the um, Core 21 box openings out of the first case. So far, we got a, a B minus. An A and an A minus on the grading scale. Um, no, I think we I think we actually moved that last one up to an A. Now that I think about it. All right, there's our packs. Whoosh, move them up. Pack one. Pick one. No. Um, so how's everybody doing today? So this is the fourth installment of our box openings for Core 21. It is the end of July by the time you see this. And we're going to do the same as we have done as far as uh, sorting the common uncommons and then uh, go over the rares. Ooh, Liliana Stewart right off the bat. First pack, very nice. I think that's where I put that. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think, you guys. Well, we'll get we'll get it more filled in here in a minute. Because I know I, I was able to fit all the cards in last time. Um, there's the black. I think white goes right there. So you skill the artifact. Well, no. Uh, huh. Okay. I know I fit them all in last time, guys. I know I did. Okay, that looks about right. She got white and artifact just on the borders. All right. Our first uncommon. Witch's Cauldron. So. Um, while you're here, let's discuss about the giveaway, Burl Fist Oak. Bulltown, as our last and our rare, is a Basri's Lieutenant. And we got a Foil Dismal Backwater. Uh, land and a token. All right. No, um... So, uh, while you're here, let's make sure you're doing the right thing. You're liking the video, right? You've got that thumbs up little icon. Click that. You want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Even if you don't want notifications, subscribe because, as you can see in the comments, we are doing a giveaway. Every 50 subscribers, I will pick somebody um, just randomly, uh, like number-wise or whatever, and or I'm put a, everybody's name that's subscribed into a hat basically um, and we can go ahead and uh, you can get arena codes for sleeves or packs or you can get actual physical cards if that's what you do if you want physical cards or sleeves um, if once I pick you I'll contact you and be like hey congratulations you have won and what would you like you know that's what I will do and so, but you have to be subscribed in order to do that. Every 50 subscribers, I do that. So, if I get 500 subscribers in one week, we're going to do 10 giveaways. Uh, Vryn Wingmare is our first uncommon. Indulging, Patri Indulging Patrician is our second for the pack. Followed by the Leafkin Avenger, and our rare is Primal Might. And we got a foil pack leader rare. Nice. Very nice. So our first foil rare. Basic land and token. Um, but remember, you do have to be subscribed. Oh wait, that's a foil. My bad. 
Um, you do have to be subscribed. And so tell your friends. Get your mom. Get your brother. Get your sister to all subscribe. Cause, and then be like, I, my, mom, mom, yeah, uh, you won, but I get to pick the prize. <laughs> so it's simple, guys. It's simple. It's simple, a mathematical giveaway. Every 50 subscribers, we give something away. But you can also follow me on my other platforms, including uh, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course my favorite, UpLive, where I broadcast daily. And you can see me and my friends hang out, have fun, do crazy wacky things, everything from uh, lip sync contests to drag shows to just all sorts of fun stuff, guys. It's, 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 it's a blast. And that doesn't cost anything to join. It just, you subscribe, you can watch people, you can meet people. That's the biggest thing. I've met people from all over the world, from Russia, Colombia, uh, Afghanistan, Morocco, Tunisia, China, just everywhere. Tormod Script is our first uh, uncommon. Furious Rise is our second. Followed by the Watcher of the Spheres and our rare... Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Grim Tutor. Grim Tutor. Awesome. One of the re most anticipated reprints of the set. So that's going to knock this. Oh, that's the first construct token I think we've had, too. Knock this is box value right out of the park. Now, if we can get a foil art an alternate art room computer, that would be phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, so now that we're into, what is this? This video will be third week of uh, standard format. What do you guys think? What are your favorite deck archetypes? What do you think maybe needs to be banned? What do you think? Because there should be another banning announcement. What do you think? shouldn't be banned. What do you think um, of standard in general? Maybe even modern? Um, definitely Pioneer. Uh, Platymere is our first uncommon. Followed by Eliminate. Riddle form. And our rare is a regular pack leader. And we have a foil finishing blow. Now, um, that last box, box number three, we did not get our full set of all five of the ultimate art lands, so I felt a little bit gypped, I'm not going to lie. It just seemed like that was pretty standard going into it, so uh, we expected it, and then BAM! They hit us. Uh, Garuk's Gorehorn, alternate art. Swift response. No, oh, why am I saying that? Don't need that. Don't need to talk about the commons anymore. Uh, Sanctum of Tranquility. For our first uncommon, which is Cauldron. Our second uncommon, which is such a good card, guys. Such a good card. Tolarian Kraken. And our rare is Chandra's Incinerator Alternate Art. Is that our rare? has a weird symbol on it. It's, I mean... It has the rare color. Okay, I won't say it's far rare. And then our foil is Heartfire Immolator. So I don't know if I... I guess... Do I put that with my alternate arts? Or do I put that with my... I don't know. I don't know, guys. I blushed. I guess I'll put it with the alternate arts. Usually, if they gave us, like, I don't know. And then our island is our, our first alternate art uh, basic land. Which, like I said last time, actually, let me see over here so I can keep track of them. Last time, we, we didn't get all five, so we will see if we can get all five this time. Um, check out my arena videos, guys. I got my daily grind. I got my deck building. I got my uh, pack opening. 
got my drafting on there. I'm going to try to do more at actual uh, live events that I go to. If I can stream and they let me, I guess I'll have to find out. Obsessive Stitchers, our first uncommon of the pack. Falconeer of Depth and Warden of the Woods. Our rare is Liliana's Standard Bearer. All right. But yeah, that would be kind of cool. I thought about doing that. I thought about like actually while I'm in an event type thing, uh, broadcasting. If I can, if I could get the right setup more than anything, I think. I wonder if there's some type of uh, clause where if you participate in an event, uh, Shander's Magma alternate art, um, you automatically are, like if I were to say this is a magic stream and such that they would have to uh, agree to it. I mean, I'm not putting their face on camera or anything. It'd just be a picture of the actual board play. Uh, uncommon Sanctum of the Calm Waters, alternate art Garrick's Up Garuk's Uprising, and our Tide Skimmer as our last. And is that a Solemn Simeon No, it is a Spark Hunter Masticore that was peeking out. I saw the S. I was like, oh, good, another Solemn. Nope. All right, but. Overall, as a set, I think the power creep is a little bit much. I'm not going to lie. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like power creep, but the last two sets, especially with the broken mechanics of Ikoria. I mean, Theros, Theros was our, our, our calm set where it was like, okay, this is kind of just bleh. Uh, Selfless Savior is our first uncommon. Malefic Scythe. Followed by Enthralling Hold. All right. Demonic Embraces are rare. And it looks like we've got another foil. We do Tomb Anima. And I didn't say Anima. I said Anima. For those of you that are sick out there. Um, one thing I'd like to address is, is the craziness, okay, the absolute craziness of this whole, oh, something seems racial, something seems like, you know, we need to get rid of it, we need to, um, we need to erase the history of this, so, like, I don't know, like, what was it, about a well, at this point, by the time you see the video, it's probably been about two months ago. But, um, Canopy Stalker, Alpine Houndmaster, and the Burl Fist Oak. And our rare is, get ready for it, dun, 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 Maze Mine Tomb. Followed by a foil, Gormand. Okay, this box has a lot more foils than the previous one, or they just are all clumped together. Um, but... So, uh, like I said, when this video airs, it'll probably be close to two months ago. Wizard announced the banning of certain cards that they found racial or prejudiced. Or, I mean, one, okay, Invoke Prejudice, yes. Th that card, by all means, had this is KKK prejudice all across it. So, I'm, I, I, you know, that one probably should have never been even printed. Um... 20 some 25 years ago right but some of them I mean they're just like cleanse is, is that's just stupid guys that's just absolutely stupid and then they went back and now they're doing a uh, D&D uh, racial uh, re-imaging I guess for like orcs in the drow I mean, you're dealing with a fantasy world, people. has nothing to do with the actual events or people around. Um, Alpine Houndmaster is our first uncommon, followed by the Sanctum of Calm Waters. And we have a Quirion Dryad as our last uncommon, followed by Garuk's Harbinger. 
again it has the funky alternate art foil okay I guess don't know if I believe ah, okay that just seems like a chip I'm sorry guys it just uh, I put blossom and sands in the wrong spot doesn't seem like that should be I don't know anyway so yeah I mean what do you guys think about that do you think they like went a little bit overboard and like just trying to jump on the bandwagon of hey we need to react to what's going on politically and in the world and, and and make sure that people understand we 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 feel their 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 problems we understand their problems because I'll tell you right now, Hasbro is probably run by a bunch of rich white guys. Not gonna lie. All right, our first uncommon is Obsessive Stitcher, followed by Shandra's Pyroline and the Siege Striker. Our rare for the pack, Pursued Whale. It's Moby Dick. Okay, so maybe, maybe they, maybe, yeah, maybe they're going to get rid of, rid of. Oh, there's our forest uh, land. Maybe they're going to get rid of Moby Dick because he's the great white whale. You know, maybe, maybe we will completely rewrite the book and, and, you know, oh god, I, I wonder how far they're going to take it. Like statues being torn down, guys. Uh, there's a, there's a prominent saying. And it's a prominent saying for a reason. When we forget our history, we are doomed to repeat it. You know, part, I mean, statues and stuff, you know, you aren't saying, hey, I supported the event and everything. Statues and stuff are memorializing the event, saying, hey, hey, we made, we, we fucked up. We made mistakes. Let's, Let's not forget it. Let's, you know, let's uh, learn from it. Let's not go forward in a different light. That's what statues and stuff are for. Memorials, uh, you know, it's it's not about hoping that it'll come around again another day, people. Like, and if you believe that, you're stupid. I'm sorry, you're just stupid. Stop watching my channel. <laughs> um, Jeskai Elder is our first uncommon. Sanctum of Shattered Heights is our second. Leafkin Avenger is our third. And our rare is the Terror of the Peaks. The Mythic, I should say. And I and we went over him before. He does deserve to be Mythic. Jeskai Elder as a foil. And then our, there's our planes. Yay! Wow, that first stack, we already got three of our, three of our five lands. And... Uh, don't think there was anything spectacular other than the Grim Tutor, but we'll keep going. Pack or uh, pack number thirteen, stack two. We got a makeshift battalion. Some frantic inventory. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you guys like, well, now let's keep it. Let's keep it non-racial, non-violent. If you guys would like to comment in the comment section below, tell me your thoughts on all of that. I'd love to hear it, and maybe I'll make a special video regarding it. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, too. Desolator uh, Magic actually made a video regarding, okay, well, Wizards, if you're going to do that, here's another 40 cards that need to be banned as well. <laughs> um, Selfless Savior is our first uncommon. Reign of Revelation. Volcanic Geyser and our rare is a Baron Tolarian Archmage. I mean, we could probably literally go through and find something offensive in any given card. Any given card. Um, but, like I said, guys, just, you know, keep the comments... I, I will read them. I read every single comment everybody leaves, which right now isn't a lot, but uh, Baron's Alkalite as an alternate art. 
but and I will respond as quickly as I can. Uh, Falconeer Adept is our first uncommon. Cultivate. Love Cultivate, guys. Um, and the Avon Gaggle Master, followed by our rare is Animal Sanctuary. Um, and as we're going through these, so guys, once again, please like the like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, because as we go through and add subscribers, we're doing giveaways. Every 50 people that subscribe is a giveaway, and whether that be uh, packs or sleeves, both physical or uh, codes for arena or even mtgo online for those of you that are old old school i still have my mtgo account thank you very much um yeah the, definitely uh definitely get those subscriptions in and we can start doing those giveaways um and as well as that you can visit me on my other platforms where giveaways are announced and um Products are also announced, uh, like on my TCG player uh, store site. So that's a thing. I sell most of these cards on TCG player. And also through Facebook. Um, Kite Sail Free Booter is our first uncommon. Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest is our next. Havoc Jester followed by our rare of Subara, the Tulzidi Caravaner. We got an oh wait, she's a red. She not she not anything special. An island and a bird. Alrighty. So anyways. Like I was saying, follow me on all those different platforms. Uh, there's lots of different ways to enter for free, lots of different, I mean, hell, just subscribing is technically entering for free, right? You subscribe, you get a free entry. Um, all right, and our uncommons are Experimental Overlord, Bulltown, Bassery's Solidarity, followed by a Stormwing Entity. Wee. Forest. Oh, and that's our first, uh, I think that's our first Basri Cat uh, emblem. But, yeah, and, and you, once you're subscribed, you continually are entered into any events. Uh, you don't have to unsubscribe, resubscribe, and that won't change anything because it's the amount of total subscribers, guys. Um, Nothing new for nothing special for new subscribers. So don't think you're going to change any algorithms by, oh, I'll subscribe, unsubscribe, subscribe, unsubscribe. That doesn't do anything. It counts only once you are subscribed. All right, our uncommons: Skyway Sniper, Wildwood Scourge, Battle Rattle Shaman, and our Rune Halo is our rare. There's our mountain guys. So we've already got four out of the five. We're just missing our swamp. I think uh, last time we were missing our mountain in that last box. Um, we're also I'm going to, I'm going to try to start setting up a regular schedule like I, I've mentioned before. And by the time this video releases, it should be well into place. Uh, 2 p.m. every day is when uh, you will see. Um, a new video launched, uh, and then uh, my my uh, uh, <laughs> um, daily grind will uh, just be randomly throughout the day. Unleash Fury is our first uncommon. Epitaph Golem and Lore Scale Quaddle followed by a Brash Taunter. Again, I think you're going. Oh my God, guys! Hold the phones. We just hit A plus value in the box. Alternate art Grim Tutor. I was not expecting that. Or I should say full art. Well, I guess it's alternate art. But oh my god. Uh, sleeve, please. And 
And uh, yes, that goes down in our alternate parts. Wow, okay. So that, that threw me for a loop. What was I talking about? Um, the regular schedule, yes. The schedule, and you should have seen that by now as this is already. But 2 p.m. every day is when a new video is released based on uh, what day of the week it is. It'll be like a box opening or a um, auction that we went through um, that I picked up and we've, we've kind of covered and went through. Um, it could be a special uh, box opening as far as like, um, uh, like say collector's edition or um, or as you've seen, you know uh, the secret drop, uh, secret layer drops. Um, it could be any of those. Um, it could be a uh, deck building on arena. Those are all different things, but those will all be at 2 p.m. Any given day. Ooh, Chandra's Pyroline. I have not seen that alternate art yet. Her alternate art frame. Uh, Kinetic Augur. And Waker of Waves, followed by our rare of Thieves Guild Enforcer. So, yeah, that Grim Tutor kind of threw me for a loop. All right, but so yeah, uh, keep keep track of uh, what days. I may even post that what's going to be uh, done every now. Granted, say like it's, a, it's supposed to be a, a auction day, a, 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 a unveiling of an auction that I picked up. Maybe I did wasn't able to pick up any auctions that week, so we may have to skip that. But in general, it's going to be a followed schedule routine like that. Uh, Trader Street is our first uncommon. Shipwreck Dowser and oh uh, the Silver Smoke Ghoul. Oh my gosh. Heroic Intervention has our rare. And getting down to we got uh sixteen packs left, guys. Sixteen. But yeah. I've got a lot of product uh, you guys will see as as this is already week three, um, or this is this will be week four. I'm sorry, week four of uh, the core opening. Uh, all right, our uncommons: Sanctum of the Stone or Sanctum of Stone Fangs, Carrion Grub, and an alternate art Basri Solidarity, and our rare is Discontin discontinuity as long as you turn the spell cost for in in the turn oh you can you can end your opponent's turn too okay never mind I'm like why would people play that why why would you want to end your own turn unless you're trying to skip your end phase or or combat cleanup or something I I guess it could have different uses it's that one mythic that probably is not going to go anywhere in value, though. Almost guaranteed. It shouldn't be mythic in the first place. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it should be mythic? Do you think it'll see play? Pro well, by the time this video airs, it probably will already be determined whether or not it sees play. So, um, Alright, our first in common is Griffin Airy. Followed by Archfiend's Vessel, the Dire Fleet Warmonger, and our rare is Sublime Epiphany. I still do really like that Goblin Wizard art, guys, on the token. That and the weird. Which I haven't seen a lot of. I think I've seen maybe this. So this is box number four. I think I've seen maybe two, maybe three of those tokens. So I mean, they do. They do have rarity in tokens. Believe it or not, guys, they really, really do. Look up tokens sometime on TCG Player and see the prices of some of them. Uh, Miscast is our first uncommon. Watcher of the Spheres. 
followed by Tolor Tolor Tolarian Kraken. Blah, 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 blah. And our rare is Chandra's Incinerator. All right, last pack of the second row. So as always, I'd like you to please go ahead and like the video. Leave comments below because comments are appreciated. I take all feedback uh, well uh, just to go ahead and improve the channel, what you guys want to see, what you guys are doing, uh, what interests you while you're watching videos. Some people just like me, I have people I subscribe to. I will be doing other stuff in the back in the background, like sorting cards or something, and I'll have their uh, video running, so I'm listening, but maybe not necessarily watching. Um, our first uncommon is Traitor's Greed. Our second is Angelic Ascension, and our last for the pack is Twin Blade Assassins, and our rare is a Solemn Simulacrum. Can't go wrong with the Solemn. We got a foil. Wow. Okay. We got a foil Chandra's Incinerator. And what's that? Our second foil rare of the pack already? Because I think we had the Watchdog too, didn't we? Yeah, we had the pack leader. Wow, okay. Doing good. A mythic, a mythic Ugin would be nice. Ugin, Ugin, Ugin. Um, because we already pulled the foil to fairy out of one pack. That was nice. Or out of one box. Um, we've got a regular Ujin. Got a Grim Tutor and an alternate Grim Tutor now. Alright, we got Garuk's Uprising as our first uncommon. Tempered Veteran. And Tide Skimmer, our rare is a Demonica Embrace again. And we got the Garuk Emblem. Very nice. Very nice. Alright guys, so um, if you have any questions about uh, like my different platforms, please feel free to ask in the comments. Uh, I can tell you about UpLive, I can tell you about my Facebook page. Because um, on my Facebook page I also offer um, sealed product deals. Uh, Got stuff like here. I'm going to do a shameless plug. Uh, got stuff like you know, Core 21 event decks. This is one is the Illusionary Might. I also got uh, Phyrexian Rot or Rot from Within. That kind of stuff. So you know, there's lots of different things that you can purchase on my Facebook site directly from me. Um, you can just PayPal me the uh, or Venmo. I got so many different ways to pay me. Um, and give me your address and stuff, and we'll get that shipped out to you directly. Um, they are discounted from TCG Player. And if you use my Facebook site, um, and it's also posted on TCG Player, you get 10% off of what the TCG Player price is. So that's another nice... Uh, bonus of using my Facebook. Uh, Just Guy Elder is uh, our first uncommon of this pack. Sanctum of Shattered Heights is our second. And Faith Fetters, our rare, is the Spore Web Weaver. And we have a Foil Sure Strike. What land are we with? Swamp, right? Yeah, we're missing our Swamp. Our um, alternate art land. Haven't really looked at the prices and by now by the time this video comes out this is box number four so this is fourth week in of uh, since uh, Core 21 released so we're looking at August and that means we're probably going to start seeing some spoilers for Zendikar Rising so that will be much anticipated um, hopefully something good comes out of it because Battle for Zendikar was not all that amazing except for obviously the exploration lands, right? Uh, Unsubstantiate is our first uncommon. Carrion Grub, our second. Ugh. 
Waker of Waves is our third, and our rare is a Felidar Sovereign, the big cat. He's the he's the, not the big dog. He's the big cat with the cat token. I like that. I like that it gave us the cat token with the Felidar Sovereign. So yeah, um, Battle for Zendikar. What do you guys uh, think is going to be in there? What are you guys expecting, huh? Since it'll be uh, probably next week that we start seeing some of the. Uh, um, Spoilers, uh, Liliana Stewart as an alternate art. A um, lot of speculation as far as, uh, or not Shocklands, Sacklands, but I don't think they're bringing them back, guys. I don't think they are. Um, I think those are gone the way of the dodo. <coughs> Our first uncommon, Cultivate. Our next uncommon, Hellkite Punisher. And our last uncommon, Twin Blade Assassins, followed by our rare of Peer into the Abyss. This is definitely a, a, a heavily black themed box. And when I say black themed box, I am not being racist, so don't think I am. Black is the color of the mana pie, as is white, as is red, as is green, and as, as is blue. So, for all of you haters out there that want to try to find something racially prejudiced, and anything and everything, F off. Seriously. <laughs> you know, just there's too much hate in the world as it is. You guys need to calm down. You need to chill, relax, and realize that things are things. Things don't have hidden meanings. Things aren't made to be evil or horrible. Um, things are just things. Fungal Rebirth is our first uncommon, followed by Battle Rattle Shaman. I like saying Battle Rattle. Battle Rattle. And our Quirion Dryad is our third, and followed by our rare of a Temple. Woohoo! Temple. Everybody loves their temples because you only have five million temples. You need another three million to feel complete. All right. Got some alps. Um, but what is everybody doing? How did you uh, uh, enjoy your fourth? I mean, I know this is a couple weeks later, but you know, did you get out and have fun? Did you get to uh, actually see people that you haven't seen in a while? Do some fun things. Our first uh, uncommon is experimental overload. Overload. Unsubstantiate. In a gourmand. And our rare is another heroic intervention. Like I said, guys, I've been finding that a lot of um, duplicates of rares, like two two rares per box of the same one. Uh, Foil Island is always nice. That's worth a dollar. Though I would have preferred a Foil Alternate Art Island. Alternate Art slash Card Frame Island. That would have been a Q. Oh, wait, I got one of those. Um, yeah, do you guys, do you guys find uh, the standard environment stagnant already? Do you find that we really need that rotation? Um, I've seen it on Arena that it seems the blue-white control decks are really way too powerful right now. Um, Tavern Swindler is our first uncommon, followed by Thrashing Brontodon. Angelic Ascension, and our rare is See the Truth. At least that's, maybe maybe it's the algorithm for the decks I'm playing, you know. I mean, I got my white-black uh, uh, humans deck, so, because, you know what? White and black can get along. <laughs> I may, maybe I should rename the deck. Ooh, there we go. Um, but... You know, there's there's some decks that just like it seems like okay, well, let's have Teferi and Teferi and and Narsa and Teferi and Teferi. Oh wait, did I say Teferi too many times? I don't know. <laughs> All right, yeah, it'll be a big change next month uh, when uh, Teferi, little Teferi rotates out. Furious Rise is our first uncommon. Bad deal is our second uncommon. Followed by a fierce empath, and our rare is a speaker of the heavens. 
Wow. Okay, guys, our third rare of the box. Maze Mine Tomb, or third foil rare, I should say. Maze Mine Tomb. And there's a second mountain. The mountain we were missing from the first one, maybe, or from the last box. Could be. Could be, because that's uh, the first time we pulled a double of any of the um, alternate art basic lands. And since the last box was missing a mountain, maybe that's just part of the coalition. 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 All right, Uncommons, Sanctum of Stone Fangs, Heartfire Emulator. Oh, you guys already saw it. There's no covering it up now. Uh, Conclave Mentor and the Temple of Epiphany as our rare. Yay. Though the cat token makes me happy. But the cat token is just too... Um... But yeah, guys, so tell me what you think. Tell me tell me your thoughts on some of the topics we've discovered. Leave the comments below of Basri's Alkalite alternate art. Um, and while you're down leaving a comment, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video. And, of course, follow me on all my other platforms where we can win lots of things. Uh, I'm sorry, first uncommon was Invigorating Surge, second was Chrome Replicator. I got busy talking to you guys. Um, and our last is Avon Gaggle Master, followed by another Niambe. And a Foil Feet of Resistance. There's our Swamp, so we got our playset plus one. Wow, this is, has, has been kind of heavy on the foils, which I'm not complaining, it's just don't usually see it. We're down to our last two packs, guys. So, yes, follow me on all those different platforms. Again, you can turn off notifications. Get your friends, because we do have the giveaways. We have lots going on uh, over these past few months, and going forward, I hope to see even more. I hope to be doing a lot more. We will see where uh, everything takes me and takes the channel. I'm hoping by now we have enough subscribers that uh, we're getting uh, some type of allocation. Uh, Meteorite was our first one coming. Malefic Scythe is our second. And a Teferi's Tutelage alternate, alternate art, followed by Azuzu, Lost But Seeking. Azusa. Azusa. And last but not least. Our last pack. Um, with the Grim Tutor Tutors, the two different, I'm giving this a solid A. Um, it may even rank an A plus um, because of the amount of foil rares. Let's see what the last pack has to have before. It, okay, we'll do this. If the rare is a a temple, it'll stay in an A. If it's anything else, it will go to an A plus. All right. Let us find out. All right, our first uncommon, Rewind, followed by Faith's Fetters, Liliana's Devotee, and what's the last card, guys? What's our rare, last rare of the pack? Feline Sovereign. Okay, so we're going to give it an A+, because it did have both Grimms, um, had three foil rares. Overall, very good box. I'm pleased with it. Um, once again, please like the channel, subscribe below, leave comments, and make sure that you, you are following me on my other venues of uh, multimedia platform because there are plenty of giveaways. Yes, don't forget the giveaways. Um, I'm going to have to go back and plug that in previous videos. Um, and then uh, I want to thank you all. You guys have a good day. Take care of yourselves and each other.